Hello, Cernet. We drinking again. Always. Check out what we be drinking. Some expensive booze. <laughs> Not your father's variety pack. We got ginger ale, root beer, and vanilla cream ale. We, uh, I think that's the only three flavors they put out, and we're going to taste test them here. Where are they from? I the think river? they're out of, uh, oh, I remember looking. They're out of Wisconsin. La Crosse, Wisconsin. What was it that I was drinking the other Root beer was the one I was drinking the other day. Root beer! The root beer is really good. I, I don't know, I mean, there's a little story on the side. I don't know if everybody wants me to read this big old long boring story. But you ready for me to pop one? You want to go ginger ale first? Bad as though that, um, oh, that, uh, that one that you made the one drink with. I can't think of what I it was. I didn't called. make any drinks with it. Here's uh, what I, I made drinking. them. But it was the Moscow Mule or whatever. This is what I was talking about. Let me shed some light on this situation. Yeah, Moscow Mule. That's what I made. But you didn't make a video of it. No, but it's almost like this, but this is so much worse. That, yeah, it's... This um, is very, like, gingery. If you like the taste of ginger, like, straight up chomping on some ginger root, this is the drink for you right here. But this ain't bad. I mean, what would you consider this as? Uh, ginger up? I mean, what do you mean? It's, it's a, not a ginger up. It's a hard part. ginger up. I'm going to try to make a video that involves this drink eventually. All right, we had well. it plain and it was not the greatest. <laughs> Which one do you want to go for next? The root beer or the vanilla, vanilla cream? Let's go vanilla cream because they're popular product. If you follow me, you've seen me drink this in a, a video. I think. Party keeps getting crashed. Um, I think it's a donut video. It was spliced into two different videos because of my phone having issues. Well anyways, we popped this open. Let's speed this along because it's not going to quit getting crashed over here. Vanilla cream ale. <laughs> Here's what we're drinking now. It's a little different. It's not what I expected. Like how this one? We've had that before. Yeah. yeah. I like that. The, the vanilla y the, the vanilla cream. Alright. This one's my favorite. Like if you ever had like a just like a um, cream soda or something that's kinda a vanilla cream soda, it's what I think it tastes closest to. Yeah, probably. It's pretty close. Yeah. And here is the last but not least. This one is my favorite. And where we live, there are some restaurants you could get this, but you have to rush in as soon as they get it because they well, sell it. Well, that's what it used to be. I think you can get it just about anywhere now. Uh, here, we were talking about when it first started. That's my, probably my favorite one. Wherever we uh, was off talking. About last, uh, hell, I don't know. I asked know. you which one your favorite one was. This uh, is the root beer is my favorite. Yeah, I mean they're all pretty good, but root beer's what made them popular. This one, they, th this one's head on. That one's not too bad. That one almost reminds me of almost a wine, a wine taste. This one. Oh, there's definitely a difference in the uh, alcohol content. The ginger makes me think of uh, sushi. So the uh, root beer and the ginger ales, when you're wanting to go at it heavy, because they're at 5.9% alcohol, and the vanilla cream's at 4.1%. So 
so it's a little lighter. But what's their calorie content? They don't say. It's just a guess. It's just a guess. It says these are best served chilled or poured over a glass of ice. We didn't have a glass of ice today. We were just drinking out of the bottle. <laughs> Triple fisted. You don't know what to do. <laughs> but we're going to wrap this up so you don't have to sit here and watch us get drunk. Uh, Any old way. Excuse me. <laughs> Drinking all three of them like that will make you burp. Yeah. I don't know what the calorie count on these are. We'll say if you're a beer drinker, these are sweet. So. Yeah. You, I'm more of a beer drinker, so, you know, I. these are just probably something I'd get when I'm in the mood, maybe, or something. Yeah. They're not like your typical, like, Budweiser and Miller Lite. What's the other ones? Oh, uh, so you're talking about the horse piss ones? <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, I used to drink those, but I drink more of your... Uh, Guinness. Well, I do like Guinness. But, yeah, these are not like your typical beers. Hopefully you could find them and try them where you live, and if not... Hard sodas, basically. You can You're always pretty. go to the Derby and get them in, because I'm sure there's a liquor store over there somewhere. Well, I'm sure you can probably or get you them. you can probably get them where their hometown is. I think, you can get, I think you can get them everywhere anymore. Yeah. Because I think when they start first started coming into the area, they, they came into Indiana and then down into Kentucky. So it just kind of spread, for, I guess it spread from Wisconsin. Yeah, to where they're now. Yeah, now they're... There's your contents on your alcohol. Now they're everywhere. I mean, I go down to Nashville and I see it. But this is a, a pretty good blend of alcohols. If you're into like the sweeter beers, these would be more of that type. But as I always say, show me some love, like, comment, subscribe, and we will catch you later. Don't forget to check that box below to see all the other places I'm at on the internet. And don't forget to drink responsibly.